Within this lesson, we'll decompose fractions as a sum of unit fractions using tape diagrams. Here we have a tape diagram, whereas the whole is 1. And then we're asked to find what this is worth as a fraction. In this case, this is going to be a unit fraction. We have taken 1 and that fraction bar, and we have divided it into 4 parts. So we are looking at a unit fraction of 1 fourth, where each of these are worth 1 fourth. And that missing part also, since we're only looking at one of those, is also looked at and is 1 fourth. That also can be written as 1 fourth. Here we're looking at another fraction bar. The whole thing is 1. How many parts is it divided into? Right, it's divided into 5 parts, so we call those fifths. So the unit fraction that we would be talking about is 1 fifth. Now the difference between this here is that here there's actually 2 fifths. Two-fifths, that's one-fifth, plus one-fifth. Read that with me. Two-fifths equals one-fifth plus one-fifth. We're, ex we're expressing two-fifth as that sum of those unit fractions. Okay, it's your turn to try. Think about what is the unit fraction, and then write the fraction as the sum of unit fractions. Pause the video while you do your work. What is that unit fraction? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that tape diagram is divided into 6 parts. So the unit fraction is 1, 6. And it looks like we're looking at this here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. And then so we should be writing as the sum of unit fractions, that's 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6, which does equal 4 6. Here we're asked to draw and label a tape diagram for each decomposition. First we'll draw the tape diagram. The whole tape diagram is 1. Well, the unit fraction that we are talking about is we are talking about fifths, as you see here. So we'll divide it into five parts by drawing four lines. Next, we have three fifths, which was broken down into one fifth plus two fifths. So we show the one fifth, and we also show the two fifths. Shade those in. So we've shown how it is that three fifths is broken down into the sum of those parts one fifth plus two fifths. Let's do another one of those. Let's think about six this time as our unit fraction. 1 is equal to how many 6? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. So that 1 is equal to the sum of all of those 6. Let's draw it with that tape diagram just as before. Remember, we'll go ahead and label that 1, divide it into 6 parts. And each of those parts is worth 1 6. So that 1 6 plus 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 1 6 does equal 6 6, which does equal 1.
Here we have the decomposition of 3 sevenths equaling 2 sevenths plus 1 seventh. Draw a tape diagram for this decomposition. Pause the video while you do your work. How many parts did you divide this into? The whole thing is 1. It had asked 2 sevenths first. So we will go ahead and shade in two of those sevenths, make sure to label it, and then we'll shade in another one of those sevenths. So that three sevenths is broken apart into two sevenths and one seventh for my tape diagram. The unit fraction again that I am looking at is one seventh. Let's take a look at a few more problems. Well, look at this. We have 8 fifths, and 8 fifths is decomposed as 5 fifths plus 3 fifths. So if we were to draw a tape diagram for this, let's see what we get. For this first tape diagram, we had 1, and it was divided into 5 parts, and I was looking at 5 of those parts, or 5 fifths. Next, I have three-fifths still, so I will continue to extend my fraction bar by fifths. One more fifth, two more fifths, and three more fifths. And shade them in for three-fifths, so that I am representing eight-fifths there. Eight-fifths, you'll see, is actually more than one. In fact, it's three-fifths more than one. We can also write 8 fifths then as 1 and 3 fifths. We call this here a mixed number. And when we have our numerator bigger than the denominator, whereas we're over 1 there, we call that an improper fraction. And then so those are some of the terms that I will continue to use as we are working with fractions and learning more about them. Okay, it's your turn to try. Draw a tape diagram to represent 7 fourths, which was decomposed into 4 fourths plus 3 fourths. Pause the video while you do that work. You took 1, divided it into 4 parts, and then we are looking at 4 of those parts, or 4 fourths. We still had 3 fourths. Our unit fraction was only fourths, and when we're adding 3 more there, so we label our diagram, and we have now modeled 7 fourths. Compare that against yours. Did you write an improper fraction of 7 fourths, right? And now, let's look at this again. Can we write the mixed number? Well, it's 1 for sure. And then we have 1, 2, and 3 fourths. So it's 1 and 3 fourths. Let's see how it is that we would model a mixed number. Here we have 1 and 5 6. Well, 1 and 5 6, we can decompose as 1, the whole number, plus 5 6, the fractional part. And we know how to model 1. <clears throat> Our unit fraction that we are talking about, though, is 6. So we will still rewrite 1 as 6 6. And then we will add 5 more of those. 5 6. And we would label that as well. So that is how we would model that mixed number.